want an egg with your bacon, Roy? Uh, not hungry. Well, you've got to eat. No, I don't. It's no good sitting there feeling sorry for uh, yourself. Just ignore your mother. Mm -hmm. Charming. <sighs> Worrying about it's not going to help, you know. How can I not worry about wandering out in the middle of the night? It's not normal. And they're leaving the door unlocked. Anyone could come in. Well, no-one did. Besides, maybe it's stopped. I've not heard you get up and you've been in bed in the morning. True. Maybe, once you realised that's what you were doing, it sort of shocked you out of it. Well, it's possible, I suppose. Right, so, do you want an egg, then? Uh, no, no, nothing, thank you. I'm really not hungry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you look as young as the day I met you. First time around. Come on then, spit it out. What? What are you suffering me up for? Your present hasn't arrived yet. Oh, well, it better add, and I hope you've not forgot. I'd never forget your birthday. Yeah, I know. No. I'm sorry I've been a bit strained recently. Forgiven. It's just work and everything, you know. Well, delegate. Yeah, uh, I will. Shall I go and wake Simon? Oh, no. Give me five minutes. Save you the piece. I'll put kettle on. <laughs> Isn't this Peter's? Yeah, it is. Where was that? Down the back of the couch. Oh, it must have fallen out of his pocket. When was he here? Oh, I don't know. Um, last week, was it? When he dropped cider? Can't have been long ago. He would have missed it. He didn't come round when I went out with David, did he? No, he didn't. Do you believe me, don't you? Yeah, of course. Good. Because you say some funny things sometimes. Anyway, give it here. I'll drop it off when I've taken sight to school. Toast always tastes better than mine. I don't know, I just put it in the toaster like you do. Yeah, but mine always burns. I don't think it likes me. What, the toaster or the toaster? Both. I've seen them together talking, whispering. I've missed this. Me too. And I'm never going to mess up again, you know. I promise you, this time. Gary, you don't need to persuade me. I believe you. Good. You know, sometimes you try too hard when you don't need to try at all. Oh, here we go. For instance, trying to force Tina and Tommy to have a drink with you. Well, I thought we were all trying to get on. We are! But you have to let it happen naturally, you can't rush it. OK, well, I'll go and say sorry later, won't No, don't do that, cos otherwise you make it too big a <laughs> so thing, So what do you want me to do? Well, we'll just pop in for a drink later, you know, see what happens. Act casual. Casual, right. You can do casual, can't you? I'll try my best. Oh, no, don't try, cos then it won't be casual. Yes, casual, I know, <laughs> Isabel. Wait, <laughs> Gary! Oh, no. I thought I might change the menu today. Looks like you'll have to. I think we might be a bit low on stock. I, well, that can't be me. I, I, I don't even like cake. No, no, somebody must have, I, I don't know, got in. The bolt's still on. No sign of a shattered window. I suppose it would account for the pick of lily on my pyjama top. At least she didn't go out this time. It was probably too full to walk. No wonder you weren't hungry. Uh, perhaps you'd like to make a start on the clearing up. I've always been a firm believer in anybody clearing up after themselves. But in this case, I will make an exception. How about you and me go upstairs and try and talk this through? Well, that would be difficult, since I don't remember doing it. I don't mean this. I mean what's behind it. Your father and how you feel about him. Oh, Hayley, look, I'm aware that you and Mother have concocted this ridiculous theory. It's not ridiculous. It's patently obvious. Not to me, it isn't. Right, well, if you won't talk to me, then please, will you at least talk to a doctor or a counsellor? <laughs> Who will fire off a lot of silly questions and, and look at me like I'm some sort of strange species? No, thank you. I'll, I need to get on. I'll do it. No, Mother, uh, as you say, I'll clear up my own mess. Thank you. Thank you. This is the best bit, though, isn't it? Choosing baby stuff. Especially when I get stuff off of it on my top. I beg your pardon? Why? 
Well, they're never going to stop a pregnant woman, are they? Are you talking about shoplifting? Well, I'm not taking the shop, just what's in it. Kylie! Well, have you seen how much they charge for stuff these days? It's a rate rip-off. Well, that doesn't mean to say you have to rip them Mom, off. Mom, she's winding you oh, up. Oh, you spoil spot. I had to go in then. Hey, hurry up, you. You can brush your teeth yet. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm going to give it a mess. No snogging, then. No, they're shopping. Why? Are you not well? well? Yeah, I'm fine. I just don't fancy dragging myself around town on my day off. Could show a bit more enthusiasm. She's your baby as well, you know. Uh, I don't mind. I get to spend more without him there anyway. You enjoy your day off. Have some chill time. You deserve it. Mm. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'll, I'll come with you if you want. No, it's OK. Uh, would you do me a favour, though? Will you go to the bistro and remind Nick I'm not in till this aft? I did tell him, but he was really busy. I don't think he heard me. Right. Yeah. Get lots of baby grows. They're a godsend. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, yes, yes. She's my granddaughter. Yeah, no doubt about that. Oh, glad you came in. Oh, well, that makes a change. Just, uh, wanted to wish you a happy birthday. There you go. Oh. Well, don't be expecting any brownie pints. It's only because our sire reminded you. Ah, he saw me. But I did buy the card myself, though. Yeah, so I can see. Where'd you get it from? Clearance sale at cabin. Right, won't bother next time. I bet I'd do, otherwise our side will have your guts for garters. So did Si tip you off or have you taken up gambling? Neither. I came to return this to you. Well, you found it. Do you know what? I've looked everywhere for this. I didn't think I'd ever see this again. Blimey, I feel like Silver Black. Where was it? On back of our couch. <laughs> what was it doing down there? I don't know. Anyway, I'll leave you two to reacquaint yourselves. Wouldn't want to feel like a gooseberry trap. Um, Kylie told me to remind you that she's not in till this afternoon. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought you might. You're right. You seem a bit down. No, I'm fine. Oh, honestly, you think him and that lighter were old mates away went on? He's practically in tears. What's that? I had nothing. Oh, Peter left his lighter around ours down the back of the couch. <sighs> Fair card. Oh, yeah, cheapest one he could find by the looks of things. What? Peter? Yeah, right. Better get back to them books then. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Cheers. I'm going to chat then. <laughs> I'm full. For kisses. <laughs> Funny. Ten of them. Ah! <laughs> 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 Carla's name's not on it. No, oh, well, maybe you didn't show it her. Why not? No reason. I just thought with her and Leanne not getting on, that's all. Right. Anyway, I've got things yeah, to Yeah, I, I have anyway. I'll, I'll see you later. Emily, should you be doing that? I'd have shopped if you'd said that. I'm sure you would. Anything to get back into my good books. <sighs> Everything all right, Emily? He's not been going on about your will again, has he? Oh, so you've been talking to Rita about it too? No, not exactly. No. Yes, you have. You said she only thinks of herself. Did he now? Well, in that case, you may like to hear the latest chapter. Well, you promised me you wouldn't tell her. Well, I hardly think you can take the moral high ground. Oh, come on, tell me. Well, remember that box set that Doris claimed was from him? Yeah. Well, it wasn't. Turns out it was actually from Frieda. It, it's not as bad as it sounds. It's just... precisely as bad as it sounds. In fact, it's worse. Emily, come on. Come in the back. We'll have a cup of tea. All right, I'll make it. You will not. You might shop. Come on. That's it. Take your time. Right, Emily. Come on. Come on. Play for me. Leanne, thought I'd better get something or Nick would be cross. Well, you can't get much crosser. How do you mean? Barlow got her a card. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know they're supposed to be civil and everything, but Leanne looked well chuffed and Nick looked dead narc. Don't blame him. Was going to push the boat out and get some flowers and all. Glad I didn't now. Mm. Still, she might open these at work and then at least I'll get to try them. Are you having a good day? Yeah, I am, actually. I'll uh, go and have a shower before I get to work. Okie dokie. Hiya, I'd like to order some flowers, please.
Anna's offered to do more shifts if you want to take some time off. Why should she... Oh, I see. You've told her. Well, yes, it's only Anna. Nevertheless, I'd prefer it if we kept it between ourselves. Mm -hmm. Suit yourself. <sighs> Afternoon. Ah, Brian, what can I get for you? Uh, meat and potato pie, please. Oh, go on, then. I'll have some chips as well. Chips. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. Uh, did you manage to catch the uh, culprits? Uh, yes, yes, uh, we did. Take your seat. Really? Anyone you know? Mm, it turned out to be Roy, sleepwalking. Never. Oh, yes, he gets up to all sorts when he's asleep, does Roy. Strolls on the red wreck, little late suppers. Fascinating. Glad you think so. But I never realised you could actually eat while you're asleep. <laughs> I shall have to use that excuse next time Julie's nagging me about my weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you both find it so amusing, perhaps you'd like to watch the footage. Bring some friends, Brian. Mother, you can serve popcorn. I'll be over there when you're ready. His actual words were, the vultures are circling as if I'm some emaciated zebra about to expire. Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, he's the biggest vulture of them all. Well, exactly. Can I get anyone another copper? No, no, thank you. It might be poisoned. You could shoot her, though. I mean, isn't that what you do with an animal that's dying? Put it out of its misery. That's yeah, very funny. No, Norris, it's not funny at all. Well, gee, I have to be going. Right. Thanks for the tea, Rita. All right. I'll, 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 I'll see you later. <sighs> I dread to think what she's been saying. I'll bet you do. All right, all right. So I, I, I may have put it badly, but my intention was simply to protect her. Protect yourself, more like. Elbowing all her relatives out of the way so you could be the head of the queue. It's not like that. It's exactly like that. What's got into you? Fear, I suppose. Fear? Oh, I, I care very much for Emily. We, we, we've been in the house together now for 13 years. Well, yeah, all right. We, 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 we've had our ups and downs, of course, but, but at least it's been... Companionable, and I, I, I suppose I—I I always realised that there might come a time when she, well, when when she wouldn't be there, and I, I just thought I'd... you'd get the house. No, no, that I'd get to stay on in the house because, yeah, you know, because that way, I'd, uh, well, I'd have the memories, wouldn't I? Have you said any of this to Emily? Not as such, no, I mean... That's embarrassing, isn't it? What's the point? She's never going to forgive me now. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa! Oh! Brian, are you all right? Oh, yeah, 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 fine. Oh, sorry, I was miles away. Well, you've got a lot on your mind, I expect. I've just had lunch at the cafe, yeah. I heard about the sleepwalking. Oh! I've been worried sick. Do you know he walked all the way to the Red Wreck the other night? Anything could have happened. Well, how did he get back? Oh, Deirdre found him, thank goodness. I'm at my wit's end. I'm sure it's to do with his father dying, but he still won't discuss it. What about a counsellor? I tried that. You'd think I'd suggested an interview with Oprah. I don't suppose you could try even another word. Oh, oh no, it didn't go down too well last time. He, he seems very touchy about the whole thing. But he can't go on like this, can he? I mean, what if he walks under a bus next time and gets attacked? He doesn't bear thinking about. Well, I, I suppose I could find out some information on the subject. It may be like accept that. Would you? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Listen, I'd best get on or else the girls will be wondering where the cakes are. But thank you. Thank you. I've just taken these from the delivery man. Ah, the beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. I'd like to take the credit, but they're not from me. Oh. That's odd. There's no note. It'll be for my Janice. <laughs> so why no note? Well, you know Jan. Probably in a rush, you know, in a... And these are from me. They're chocolates. Ah. Oh, thanks, Gail. I'll have them later on. <laughs> bit extravagant for Janice. All right. Hiya. Give us a chip. Hey, you not had your lunch or what? Of course. Well, I'm not from a man. Hey, look at this day of your shirt. Didn't your dad do any washing? It's my fault. He 
put a clean one out this morning, but I was in a rush, so I just pulled this one off. Over your head, yeah? That's what I used to do. Saves uh, undoing the buttons, doesn't it? You're still doing now, Valet, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> put a clean one on tomorrow, eh? How's things going over there? Good, yeah. We're going to see Jay this afternoon. Can I come? No, you've got school. No matter. Well, you could always get Tim to drop you off after work. We've got plans anyway. Oh, well. It's always in plenty of other times. All right, listen, we, uh, let's get going. Do you have to? We haven't seen you for ages. Yeah, we do. And you've got to get back to school anyway. Yeah, go on. You go. Come on, you. Let's go. Oh, cheers. I'm assuming that lot's not for me. Uh, not unless you've shrunk a few sizes. Baby oh. clothes. Aww. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> you could have a little mini me on your hands. <laughs> You're going to get some massive dank earrings and all. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Aww. Cute though, aren't they? Hey, Nick, look at that. Aww. Lovely. You all right? Hey, yeah. I've uh, just come to see what you fancied for your tea. Oh, I don't mind, really. Can I have a look, then? There's my baby, in it. Of course. Oh, that's nice. They're yeah, cute, aren't they? Blimey. That must have been expensive. Oh, not for me. Really? Who loves you enough to spend a fortune? Oh, they'll be from our jam. We don't really know, do we? There's no note. That's what you're trying to say. I've got some secret lover. Secret admirer. He'll be daft. So we all know that will be. Who? First a card, now flowers. Exactly. Who are you talking about? Peter Barlow. Nah, he's with Carla. And why would you want a digestive when you've got a custard cream? Yeah, with Barlow it's different, though, isn't it? Why would you have one biscuit when you can have two? All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You? Fine, yeah. Usual. Please. Listen, I'm, um... I'm sorry about the other night. I was a bit drunk. <laughs> You're not kidding. Still, it's a pub, so there's worse crimes than forcing drinks on someone. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, how's Jake? Good, yeah. We're going to see him later. All right, I'll give him my love, yeah? Yeah, we will. What have I told you about staring? Are you OK? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. Stop skiving and get back to work, please. Go on. From Peter? Yeah. They have to try and get on for Simon's sake. As long as that's all it is. You might not trust Leanne, but I do. It's Peter I don't trust. Don't blame you. Do you know something I don't? No. You tell me if you did. Of course. Why has something happened? It's been going around the flat when I've been out. You asked Leanne? Yeah. She's going to tell me, is she? She knows how I feel about him. Maybe it's me being paranoid. Cards, flowers, secret visits? I don't think so. Hello again. Oh, oh, Brian. Uh, glad you came in. Uh, I'm sorry if I was a little bit abrupt earlier. Oh, it's fine. No, no, it's not. No, OK. Let me get you a, a cup of tea on the house. Well, well if you insist. <laughs> But, but I do understand the whole thing must be very upsetting for you. Yes, well, I'm sure it will pass. Uh, can I offer you anything else, a sandwich, perhaps? Uh, no, no, I'll be having my tea soon. <laughs> uh, though, if one of those cakes is going... It's yours. <laughs> Actually, I came to give you something. Oh. I managed to find these on somnambulism. Yes, I I'm aware of its proper name. Uh, there are several things that might help. <laughs> yes, well, I'll... Uh... I'll look at those later. Although it does suggest it's best to see a doctor, try and get to the underlying cause. What, by staring at a few ink blots? I hardly think that's going to help. I'm sure all the doctor will want to do is talk. Yes, well, people are very fond of talking, aren't they? Giving you advice, telling you what you need. Roy, Brian is only trying to help. Did I ask for help? But it's just that Haley seems very worried about me. Oh, oh haley has been talking too, has she? Well, why not? The more the merrier. I mean, we could solicit everyone's advice. We could ask the whole cafe. In fact, why don't we? Roy, people are staring. Yes, well, that's what people do at a freak show. 
Do I get my cake? Hiya. Hi, love. So my dad's back then. Was you not rang yeah? You're not allowed phones in school. All oh, right. Uh, anyway, I'll go and see him now. Uh, well, the thing is, he won't be back for a few more days yet. Why? Well, he's had to stay on and work. But he said your man wouldn't mind if you stayed on a bit longer. Hey, come on. It's not that bad there, is it? Bet she makes a better meal than your old man. Yeah, what's better? Well, there you go, then. All right, look, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, here he comes. The home wrecker. You what? You sent those flowers to Leanne. OK, right, well, if you say I did, then I must have done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. You stay away from her, do you hear? I'm not having you upsetting my son again. Oh, it's all right, girl. I think he manages that all by himself. You're just jealous. Cos he's got what you wanted. I'm warning you. Do you know what, Gail? Why don't you jump on that broomstick of yours and cast your spell somewhere else? Hey, don't talk to my mum like that. Well, she's going to stand there and make these insane accusations about me and Leanne. But there is no you and Leanne. Well, it's over. thank God somebody's talking sense. Well, it's just a pity you can't get it into your head. Do you know what? If I really wanted her, all I'd have to do is click my fingers and she'd come running, because I tell you what, she must be bored out of mind with you. Oh, well, come on, then, what are you waiting for? No, don't nick his goading him. Goading him? I stand here and goad him all day, he's not going to do well, he's too scared. What's going on? Oh, nothing to do with me. Why don't you ask him and your demented mother-in-law? Oh, well. Oh. So the accuser behind her back, but not to her face. <laughs> I never accused her. They reckon we're having some kind of an affair, I don't know. Why don't you set them straight? Never said that. Oh. Ian. We head back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>